Hi there! Welcome to another climbing episode with me. My name is Kimmy, and if this is the first time we're meeting, welcome! Ready! We are back in Murtal, but this time in Sector Purity. Where you want to start? What block? We're here because I saw two V2 boulder problems that I would like to climb. I want to warm up first. <laughs> you know what's funny? My screen is upside down. <laughs> I can't see myself. Yeah, because of... It's upside down. Oh! Okay. Thank you. Yep. This is our life. Our bouldering life. <laughs> Do we look funny? But today, I am pushing my climbing skills further once again because I decided to add an extra challenge Whoa. for myself which is overcoming my fear of climbing higher routes Personally, I don't think that I'm scared of heights I'm more scared of falling from a high point I think the reason behind this is my constant worry that I will get injured from jumping or falling off the wall and not be able to land properly on the mat. Don't worry, I know how to fall properly when necessary. I just choose not to fall. I would rather climb down most of the time. So, our first boulder for today is called Johann König with a grade of V2 or 6A. This wall is about 4 to 5 meters high, so if you can imagine, it's higher than the ceiling of an ordinary room. The route starts here on a sitting position. As soon as I pull myself up and stand on a comfortable position, I can basically just rely on my feet since it's a slab wall. So me and my feet got issues, you know that. So I am still looking for any holds I can grab just to feel safe. Uh, for me it was just more comfortable if you go one step higher. It is also important to position my body as close to the wall as possible, so I won't lose balance and fall off. Now my left hand is holding a nice crack. All I need to do is to shift my feet to get even closer to it and be able to grab it nicely with both of my hands. Yes, just reach that and grab it with your hands really hard. Yeah, I like that. There you go. And put your shoe in the crack or there, yeah. At this point, my toes are burning in pain, but at least the holes are much better now. The hand holds may look good, but the difficult part is finding footholds where I can place my feet nice enough to put my entire weight on so I can release the tensions from my arms a bit. But as you can see, there are no nice footholds here. The only chance I got are the ones that are slightly sticking out of the wall, where I can probably put a tiny tiny part of my shoes and hope that they will stay in place. I also tried using the crack as a foothold, but it is too vertical so my feet just keep sliding off. Okay, at this point, it is too high to fall. My heart rate is increasing, which makes me even more tired, but I'm almost there. I gotta see it through. Do it, Ale. Thanks to my cheerleader for keeping me motivated. Yeah. Another 6A. Okay. Oh, 
The second boulder is called Murgis Blue Sky, a beautiful 6 meter vertical boulder which easily gives away the areas where I can hold. The first question in my mind is where do I place my feet? Well, after watching Albi climb it, I decided to follow his beta and use the crack as footholds. The start required a bit of power from my entire body so that I can lift myself until I can place my left foot into the crack. The right foot remains smearing on the wall since there are no footholds for my right foot really. After two tries, I finally got it. Well that's basically it! I reach with my arms as far as I can then get my left foot to a comfortable position inside the crack. Then simultaneously pull with my arms and push with my foot to get a higher position. Repeat the movement to the top. Maybe you haven't noticed, but I climbed this one quite fast. It's because I don't want to waste energy on my arms and legs. Like I said, it required a powerful move. If I take it slower, I will get tired somewhere in the middle and I am not ready to take that fall from that height. This tactic is possible for this kind of boulder, at least for me. So that's it! This proves that I am now strong enough for V2 problems outdoors. I think I'm ready to hit another milestone and go for harder routes. I hope you enjoyed watching and I'll see you on my next video.